Now let's adjust the verticality of the Z-axis lead screw and the concentricity with the Z-axis motor. Firstly, loosen the four screws of the Z-axis motor. Just release it and don't need to disassemble it. Make sure that the Z-axis motor can move forward, backward, left and right on the motor base after loosening the screws. Like this. Then rotate the lead screw to lower the X-axis cantilever. Also move the print head to the center of the cantilever. Rotate the lead screw until the print nozzle touches the print platform. At this time, observe the position between the lead screw and the Z-axis profile behind. Adjust the position of the end of the lead screw by move slightly the motor. The top of the lead screw is also offset. When I adjust the position of the motor, Now move the Z-axis motor so that the entire lead screw looks parallel to the edge of the Z-axis profile from the front. That's definitely not right. It should look like this visually the entire lead screw is parallel to the edge of Z-axis profile. For now adjust the motor left and right to get to this state. Then turn the printer to the side. Observe the screw. Also refer to the surface and edge of the Z-axis profile. At this time, adjust the Z-axis motor forward and backward. Also make the lead screw parallel to the Z-axis profile. OK, after the adjustment, fix the Z-axis motor by hand in the right position of the lead screw. Then tighten the two front screws on the motor. At this point, it is not necessary to lock the screws of the motor very tightly. Just make sure the motor doesn't move anymore. Because the mica spacer is used on the motor, it can isolate the heat of the motor and prevent the heat from being transferred to the printed part and causing deformation. So you don't have to lock the screws very hard. Then rotate the lead screw by hand. Feel whether the lead screw will be stuck at certain angles, and smooth at another angles during one rotation of the lead screw. If the screw is relatively smooth or the resistance is uniform during a full rotation of the screw, the concentricity adjustment of the entire screw is appropriate. At this point, rotate the screw and lift the cantilever to lock the two behind screws of the motor. After the four screws of the motor are tightened, the perpendicularity and the concentricity of the Z-axis screw and the motor are adjusted. Rotate the screw by hand again, and feel whether the whole lead screw will be stuck at certain angles, and smooth at another angles during the rotation of the whole screw. If the whole screw rotates smoothly and evenly in the whole rotation cycle, that proves that the concentricity and verticality of Z-axis motor and lead screw are well adjusted. It is great, 